Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of OC Habitat Spotlight interview series. My name is Kim. Our guest today is one of our interns, Katerina Sielen. Katerina started her internship last fall. And in this interview, I'll be asking her a series of questions that's going to highlight her work in environmental conservation, specifically focusing on the work she's done for our local habitats and species here in Orange County. So Katerina, my first question is, what is your educational and or work background? Um, so right now, I am a senior finishing up my last semester at Vanguard University where I'm studying history and political science. How long have you been with OC Habitats and what brought you to us? Um, so I started with OC Habitats in September. I was set up with OC Habitats um, through my school. We had a program in which um, the school connected us with different nonprofits. Um, and one of the types of nonprofits were those working within um, climate action. And so um, I decided that I wanted to do something like that. And that's how I got connected with OC Habitats. What moment in your life made you want to protect the environment? When I think about this, I immediately think of my elementary best friend. Um, we were in fourth grade and I remember that she was um, a vegan and um, she had decided to do this because um, she cared about the environment so much and she cared about animals. And it really stuck out to me because no one else in her family was vegan. And so she was making this choice by herself. And from there, it made me realize that I have a lot to learn um, about what we can be doing for the environment. I think your answer to this one is has been pretty unique compared to the other um, OC Habitats people, because a lot of them have been saying like their professors or like David Attenborough or other like environmentalists. So I think it's remarkable that you as a fourth grader was encouraged by a fellow like fourth grader. Yeah. Is there a person that has influenced you in your environmental activism? So I'm still learning a lot about different um, environmentalists, but one person that even through this internship, I've really been enjoying learning about is um, Rachel Carson. Um, she has a lot of books that are very um, popular, and I really appreciate how she made learning about the environment and learning how to be involved is something that was very um, easy to read for everyone and that was um, that, that people could connect to. So right now I'm currently reading Silent Spring and I'm really enjoying that. How would you describe OC Habitats and its work in Orange County? OC Habitats um, is an incredible organization that focuses on habitat restoration, um, species monitoring, and education programs. Um, OC Habitats really works to incorporate um, the community and the public and including them in events um, to help them learn about the environment and also to be able to experience hands-on work through it. And um, yeah, I think OC Habitats has a you know, great future with Orange County. Aside from OC Habitats, how do you engage in environmental activism in other parts of your life? One thing that I really try to do is take the information that I'm learning here and spread that to my um, friends and family. I did a piece on environmental justice and as I was learning about that topic, I've engaged in a lot of conversations with my friends and family about the seriousness of the issue and um, some of the implications of it. And then also because OC Habitats is so great with um, the public, I try to um, encourage my friends and family to come out to different events. What are you focused on here at OC Habitats? Can you tell us something about the project that you're working on? One thing I'm working on is a presentation for Earth Day. Um, I'll be giving a talk on that day, and so I'm compiling information on the history of Earth Day and at some of the different movements and, and tasks that have been um, focused on for that and how um, the community and everyone can get involved in protecting the environment. And so that's something that I've personally been enjoying um, researching and that I'm looking forward to presenting in April. And then another project that I'm working on is the Indigenous um, People's page. OC Habitats wants to add um, a page on their website highlighting the um, history of Indigenous peoples and how they connect to the environment both now and then. And this is something that I think is so important to highlight. Uh, these are people who have such a special relationship with the land and who were here first. And so I'm really honored that I get to be a part of trying to share a little bit about their um, story and their history. What have you learned so far throughout your internship with us? Honestly, I am always learning. 
And um, though it might be a little bit cliche, I'm learning that there is so much to learn um, mm -hmm. and that it's just doing things for the environment and with the environment is just so broad and so vast. And so I'm just constantly like trying to always be alert and just take in all the new information. Well, thank you, Katarina, for sharing your Osage experience with us. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos. Bye! Bye.